Hi everyone again, John Velasco here from Phone Arena. I've been checking out the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 inch model. I'm just going to run a couple of benchmark tests just to show you what kind of numbers it's going to put in with this uh, final final retail version. As far as the overall user operation out of the box, it's fairly smoothly with the stock Android Honeycomb experience. You can tell it's not really lagging or slowing down here in, in landscape. Uh, getting into the app panel loads up fairly quickly with a nice animation. So. For the most part, it is very responsive and smooth. So let's get started here. Let's run the first test here, which is the Quadrant um, Benchmark app. So let's run this and see what kind of uh, figures it's going to put up. We'll run it twice just to get a good feel of the numbers. Um, we, with our prototype unit we checked out, we managed to get a score of 2,000 on Quadrant, which is pretty good, much as good as it gets with any uh, tablet with the uh, 1 GHz dual core NVIDIA Tegra 2 chipset on board. So we'll see how this final retail version performs. With this first graphical test, it ran roughly around 15 frames per second. This one here right now, uh, running at a roughly around on the average, uh, jumping between 20 to 30 frames per second. We'll see, we'll let that finish here. And we'll run it again a second time just to see what kind of, if it's going to be similar in uh, results. So this is graphical test running approximately 31 frames per second. And the last one here, it's running on the average again also at 30 frames per second. So this should be almost done. So let's take a look and see what kind of numbers it's going to put in. So it gave us a score of 1540, so slightly below what we saw with the prototype unit. So let's run this again. Not not groundbreaking at all in terms of just overall uh, quadrant score, but again, you really can't you really can't judge a tablet based on just uh, figures like uh, from from these uh, benchmark apps. So as far as the user operation is concerned, it's pretty good. So you're not going it's not going to slow down. Doesn't seem like it's laggy or or kind of choppy with its operation. I can tell I finished the uh, test, the quadrant test, in no time. So let's take a look here. This time it's running roughly around 24, 20, 24 frames per second. Kind of dips a little bit low with this uh, graphical test here. But for the most part, roughly around 20 frames per second. And this, and this uh, next one here, it's running on the average 30 frames per second. Pretty consistent with the previous outing here. And the last one, again, roughly around 30 frames per second. So let's take a look and see what what it puts up this time around. So pretty much the same, 1555, not all that stellar in terms of just pure numbers. Um, so that's what you get with the final retail version, which is running version. I'll just show you this real quick here. It's running Android 3.1 Honeycomb. So the latest version of the platform, but no TouchWiz user interface layer on top of it. So next test, last test I'll show you here, I've already ran the uh, Antutu benchmark test. And it gave me an overall score of 37.29, which is pretty good, actually. So let's take a look at the score chart where it ranks. And you could tell it definitely is up there with this uh, benchmark tool. 37.29 easily beats out. Um, other devices below it, other dual core handsets such as the Zoom and Optimus 2X, so it's pretty fast with this one here. So either way, it shows that you know the user experience is still pretty good with the uh, Samsung Galaxy 10.1. So it's still still overall pretty nice and sweet. So that's pretty much it, guys. So if you want to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, you can check out our website, PhoneArena.com.